Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are um, interpreting a graph, trying to find the equation, y and x intercepts, and doing some other stuff here. So this is from CPM. I'm taking this problem from CPM course three, and this is section 6.1.1, specifically number 6-3. So it says, review what you know about graphs as you complete parts A through D. Okay, so uh, let's, let's go from there. So A says, find the equation of the graph, uh, of the line graphed at the right. So here's my equation or i mean excuse me here's my graph my line right so keep in mind remember y is equal to mx plus b that's our that's our form of a line that we're going to be able to utilize quite a bit because the m always is represented the growth or the slope of the line right and the b is always the y-intercept or the initial value if you want to call it that as well so if I know my M, I know my B, I know my equation because my equations most likely have that Y and X in it because we're dealing with all of these solutions represent an X and a Y, right? An X and a Y. So if I look, I can see it crosses the Y axis there. That point right there would be considered a zero comma one. At Y equals one is where it crosses. So that immediately tells me the equation is going to be y is equal to something with the x plus one the y, the b right that is my b that also represents the b right the y that's the y-intercept so that's my plus one so now i've got to figure out what my my growth is well if you notice every time i go over one i'm going down right every time i go over one i go down so my slope triangle my growth shows me every one uh to the to the right I go down two, so that tells me it's a negative growth. When you're going down, you're decreasing. It's a negative growth, so it's going down two. So it's negative two x plus one. So there's the equation. Y is equal to negative two x plus one. That's a. So then it wants what are the x and y intercepts? Well, y intercept we already discovered because that's the initial value that that's the b that I'm starting with. So the y intercept is zero one. So I just got to figure out what that x intercept is. Well, the x-intercept is where it crosses the x-axis. So where would that? Well, if you notice, it doesn't cross at a nice lattice point. But what's true is if I'm going over 1, down 2, then if I went over 1 half, down 1, I'd be where I'm at, right? If the halfway point. So that, that tells me my x-axis is at uh, 1 half, comma, 0, based on looking at the graph. How else can you find the x-axis or x-intercept? This is important. What's true about every single point along this axis, right? That point right there, we know that that point has to have a y value of zero. So the other way to do it would have been plugging in zero into the y and then solve for x. Because you know that the x-intercept is going to have a zero for the y. So if I did that, notice what I have. I'd subtract 1 from both sides. I have negative 1 is equal to negative 2x. Then divide both sides by negative 2. And there it is. x is going to equal negative 1 over negative 2, which is 1 half. So that would give me 1 half equals x, right? So I know my x is 1 half. All right. Let's answer the next one. Oops, I just wrote over that. We can still read that. So on the same set of axes, graph a line that is parallel. That's what it says, parallel to the line graphed at the right. And that goes through the origin, 0, 0. Find the equation of that line. So I need a, I need to go through 0, 0 right there. And it's got to be parallel, right? So what do we know? Parallel lines, okay, parallel lines have equal growth rates right? Equal growth rates or slopes, if you want to call it that. So what's true is if it goes through here, I know the same thing's occurring. Every one over, it's going to go down two, right? That, that was the growth rate with this line. So with my new line as well, and I'll do this in red, actually. Every one over, I go down two. Every one over, I go down two. So if you notice, that line has that exact same growth rate going through zero, zero, it would be parallel to it, right? So right there. So there's that line there, the parallel line that goes through 0, 0. And then it wants the equation. Well, we know the equation is going to be y is equal to negative 2x because that's the growth. 
but what is my y-intercept? My b in this case is zero. So you could say plus zero if you want to, or you can just leave it as y is equal to negative 2x, either way. Okay? All right, there we go.